you think you can sing, Brian Amores will tell us about the Karaoke Idol Niagara as well as the Pelham Youth Talent Contest. The music video isn't complete yet as the Niagara Social Project is looking for you to help them finish writing the rest of the song. You can submit your entry online for a chance to win $1,000. In Niagara Falls reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Lilly. For all you music fans out there, if you'd like your very own copy of the Golden Hammer's Sharp Dressed Man, visit Rysonsmusic.com. The Christmas concert series kicked off with celebrity Glenn Campbell. With a career spanning over five decades, he's established himself as one of the true legends of country music. Normally we see buskers on street corners trying to raise change for themselves, but today numerous artists have come together at the Seaway Mall to busk for a cause to raise money for the United Way of South Niagara. Kicking off a season of celebration, the Shaw Festival opened its doors to Niagara friends and neighbours for their 50th anniversary. As a way to thank the local community for their support, visitors today had a chance to peek around the curtain on behind the scene tours. Hi, I'm Jennifer Lilly with Inside Niagara Entertainment. If you're looking for some excitement this March break, the Butterfly Conservatory in Niagara Falls is hosting Sciensational Week. There's an interactive and educational exhibit featuring snakes, reptiles, turtles, and amphibians. Thanks to the hard work of Ed FM, the new Z101, and all of the wonderful volunteers here today, many families throughout Niagara Falls will now have a Merry Christmas. Reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Lilly. Thanks to Anthony and his friends for coming out tonight to help raise money and awareness for Autism Ontario. Sean, before we go, can you make me a balloon bracelet? For sure, for sure. There you go, you're all set. Perfect. Now I have one more request. Can yeah. you turn this into a real diamond? Ah, uh, I have not learned that one yet. <laughs> It's an annual tradition as a symbol of hope for the planet. Last year, 50 million people from 128 countries participated. Earth Hour is from 8.30 to 9.30 Saturday night. The Niagara region is known for its many exciting events, and this summer we can look forward to Flavors of Niagara and Canal Days in Port Colborne. Both festivals will feature an all-star roster of musical entertainment. Niagara Falls are beautiful to look at any time of year, but even more so during the winter with the CAA Winter Festival of Lights. The festival held their annual volunteer recruitment barbecue, and TV Kojiko had the opportunity to attend to find out what's new this year. Santa, so thanks for taking some time out of your busy schedule to come to Niagara on the Lake. Now my question for you is what is the big present that you have on your wish list? My wish list includes happiness for everyone. I'm here with Anthony. Now Anthony, where are you from? I'm from Mississauga, Ontario. And how do you feel that you're going to get to see Santa Claus today? I'm very excited. And what are you going to ask him for Christmas? Lots of toys. Now, Anthony, you have a really cool thing that we can do with your hat. Now, can I show everybody? Sure. Isn't that great? Back to you, Shay and Andy. You know, Chris, that sounds like a great idea, especially if you have a sweet tooth like me. At White Meadows Farms, they have a sugar bush adventure, skating rink, and pancake weekends. Wine, food, and music. It's all about passion here at the third annual Passion Niagara and Niagara on the Lake. I had the chance to speak with organizer Cliff Brown, who told me all about today's event. Although the service is over today, the animals up for adoption are still here at the shelter every day, like this little girl. You can come check them out in person or visit their website at NFA hs.ca or you can watch TV Kojiko's segment on Home to Stay which features some of the animals up for adoption here at the shelter. Scooby-Doo, Buzz Lightyear, Dora the Explorer and many more cartoon characters will be at Dave and Buster's to meet and greet their young fans like you. Currently there are over 300 AEDs throughout the Niagara region. Thanks to the hard work of our EMS they hope to raise enough funds to purchase at least five more. Reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Lilly. Although the tunnel is now completed, there's still work to be done. It will be lined with a concrete wall to help prevent erosion and to help the water travel more smoothly before eventually bringing new hydroelectricity to help power Ontario homes in the future. 30 years ago, Terry Fox started out on his Marathon of Hope across Canada to raise money for cancer research. His legacy still lives on today as Canadians from coast to coast come out to participate in the annual Terry Fox Run. Kyle, thanks so much. Can you tell me when do the ghost tours run? 
Well, right now uh, we're running Sunday nights uh, through June, and then once we hit July and August, we're into uh, four nights a week. www.niagaraghosts.com. You can find out uh, all about the ghost tour schedule and pricing and timing, as well as you can link to uh, all the other special events that are happening uh, here at Fort George. Thanks so much. All right, stand back to you in the studio. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's edition of Inside Niagara. With only four episodes left, be sure to tune in next week when Taylor Pope and Christina Lucarelli will be your hosts and Laren Gilmore will have the news.